Dance has always been that thing for me that whenever a day, like a hard day at school or I was like feeling these emotions that I couldn't really make words to explain, I always had dance to kind of express it for me. Just like being on stage and competing, that's always been just something that I've loved to do and I really couldn't imagine my life without it. When the pain first started, I did think that it would just go away because I've had little injuries like that and they just stop. I couldn't even really point my foot without it like cramping up and just like hurting so bad. And so I basically told my mom, I was like, we have to do something because I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> I was scared that if I did have surgery that it was just going to make it worse and that I wouldn't be able to dance the same. And then at that point I was dancing a lot. That was really like the time when I was dancing all the time and so I didn't really want to have to stop. I know a lot of times dancers in particular, they will try to hide an injury. And I've seen that in, in a lot of dancers, how they, they want to dance through it. And they do a lot of times dance through the pain because they're worried that it's gonna, they're not gonna be able to do that next dance or that next competition, or they're gonna be out for so many weeks. I knew she needed to get back to dance quickly because she had some big things coming up and that it would make a huge difference once we got it fixed. When a dancer gets an injury in their head, sometimes that's the, they're not gonna do very well if they're thinking about that the whole time. And competing in Poland, it was like round after round. Like you really oh, yeah. didn't get any breaks Over and at over all. again. So it's honestly, good. I don't know if I would have been able to because it was dancing literally all day. Each time I was trying to do it better than the last because I mean, I, I don't wanna, I mean, I was there to win. Like I didn't, I wanted to win more than anything, so. If it's a group number and you're the one that's falling out of every turn and it's obvious, your group loses because of your injury that you weren't honest about. And so you have to deal with it. We knew that it wasn't like just something that we could take care of on our own. I used to compete against his daughters when they were at a different studio. So we always kind of knew of each other, our families did. And so me and my mom decided that we needed to get an X-ray and MRI and all that. From listening to what she was describing, the way she was explaining it, I already had an idea of what I thought was gonna be the problem. And the X-rays did confirm that, that yes, she had a problem that wasn't just gonna go away. I wanted to get Mary Margaret into Arkansas Surgical Hospital because I've known Mary a long time and I wanted her to get the same care that even my daughter as a dancer would get. And I knew that Arkansas Surgical Hospital would take good care of her and she would get in and out. There wouldn't be any problems with infection or any complications. And I was confident she'd have a good outcome. My life has been a lot better since the surgery <laughs> when it comes to dancing. I can dance without pain. It was about two years later and I flew to Poland with Team USA and I competed to win the Jazz World Champion gold medal. Obviously it was a goal to win, but I didn't think it would turn into a reality. <laughs> Arkansas Surgical Hospital had an atmosphere that was very comforting. It didn't feel like a hospital at all. And that really did help with the part of being intimidated or being nervous. I know for a fact that I definitely would not have been able to compete on an international level if I had not had the surgery. I would tell other dancers that are dealing with pain that if it isn't tolerable to get it fixed and you might not be able to dance the way that you were before, but you can always push yourself to try and get back to where you were and that's exactly what I did and I'd say that it was a pretty good decision. <laughs>